Hello again and welcome to this lesson. We are looking at alcohols um, in this lesson and that is an organic compound um, with a hydroxy group or um, hydroxyl uh, functional group. So let me show you the hydrox hydroxyl group is OH. Okay, OH. Okay, so in other words we have an oxygen with a single hydrogen but oxygen has two valence electrons okay he has six valence electrons in total one of them is being shared with a hydrogen and so he has one more left now that one is the one that is going to choose to um, uh, share one of the uh, extra valence electrons for carbon and the moment we have that so this is called hyd uh, um, the hydro hydroxyl ion the hydroxyl ion and as you can see at the moment he gets an extra electron when sharing that extra electron he has a negative charge so this is the hydroxyl ion with a negative charge and he gets that because he shares uh, he gets an extra electron when he shares okay so obviously the rest of this carbon can form any sort of carbon chain with branches etc etc okay so let's look at the naming conventions okay the um the same goes for the um alcohols than for the previous ones we looked at it simply gets a different suffix okay in other words the the little suffix in the end changes to an all alcohol okay slightly up alcohol Okay, it changes to an all. Um, the only exception we've had so far was the, the um, halo alkanes, which got a, a prefix. The rest all had something changed to their suffix. So, in other words, if I have, let's look at some examples. If I have two carbons, or well, let's start with one carbon. If I have one carbon that has the hydroxyl ion the rest are still hydrogens then we know that for one carbon our prefix is meth and it used to be methane now it gets the suffix all and so instead of methane it becomes methanol okay if there were two carbons okay with a hydroxyl uh, ion then it becomes ethanol ethanol okay if there were three carbons can you guess it okay uh, sorry and I do apologize for not doing the hydrogens it just keeps the video a little bit shorter so um, three carbons would be propanol propanol etc etc okay so um this would be the naming convention whenever my um hydrox hyd <laughs> hydroxyl ion is at the end there's no additional numbering um, at all necessary but let's say it's not at the end so let's take this same propanol and say it becomes um my hydroxyl ion is on the middle one now you can see so you see methanol and ethanol would it will always be on one of the carbons at the end because there isn't um there aren't any middle carbons but yeah once we work with propanol we might have that the hydroxide uh, hydroxyl ion is on the center one in this case we it would change two and now we number it doesn't matter from which side the middle one keeps being two this would be Two. Uh, sorry, not two. This would be pro, propa, propan, to all, propan to all. That would be when my and and this explains to me that my hydroxyl ion is on the second carbon. Okay. How about if I had more than one carbon? Okay well not more than one carbon more than one um, 
hydroxyl ion. Let's say we have one here, we have one there, and we have one there. Okay, now we've got three on one, on all three. So this one is propan. One, two, three, trial trial so notice we we give it the um, the prefix to our all indicating how many there are and then we also indicate the carbon um, number that it's resting on now this one is a very special one called glycerol this is its uh, commercial name glycerol glycerol and glycerol is quite useful in pharmaceutical um, um, applications and but this is as far as I'm going to go with namings uh, the names and formulas of alcohols so in the next few videos we'll look at some reactions and also some properties of alcohols I'll see you in those videos